when we dig into what's actually happening in the joint, it becomes really clear why this is a progressive condition and why actually masking the pain, if that's even successful, actually it has a detrimental effect on the on the on the health and the longevity of the joint. Are you saying that a lot of modern painkillers accelerate joint damage? It can, yeah, because one aspect, right? If if you think about it, it's it's uh, it's so counterproductive. It's it's no different than like the idea of you have reflux, so why don't we, you know, reduce your stomach acid? Well, when stomach acid is actually a condition of too little, uh, a, a reflux is actually a condition of too little stomach acid. Um, so the the pain is signaling to the body that something is wrong in that joint right uh and and use of the joint um and and stress on the joint increases the pathology of what's happening in there that degrades the joint so if all we're doing is trying to mask the pain and they're continuing to use the joint and putting load on it and so on we're just accelerating the stimulus that drives the progressive degeneration you know so it just it 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 really does not help anyone and then we saw in in one of our clinical trials um that the pain masking barely even works. People barely even feel it, even after years of taking high doses of these opioids. 